Hi, I'm Sanera Madani, and I'm a mom of two, a daughter of an immigrant and an unlikely entrepreneur who went from scaling an idea to a billion dollar business. Yes, a billion dollar business. Along the way, I learned that less than 2% of female founders ever hit 1 million in revenue. And I became obsessed on a mission to change that. I believe that there is so much gatekeeping in business knowledge and that we as female entrepreneurs should be learning from other female founders and leaders who have broken the statistics. Since I never went to CEO school, I've had to learn it all the hard way, but you shouldn't have to because we believe that you deserve to have it all. And honestly, nothing bad happens when women make more money. Grab a seat because class is officially in session. Welcome to CEO School. We're rolling, we're rolling, we're rolling. Okay, wind down Wednesday takeover right now. I'm in studio. This is uh, completely off the cuff, but we, so here's my pod, so podcast process. You know, I love to systematize everything, yes. right? So love I love to systematize system. everything. I'm actually sitting here with my podcast manager, Carolina. Hello. Uh, and Caro is here. She is the founder of Hi Hello Labs. Uh, and it's an amazing podcast studio here in Orlando. We shot the course together. Uh, Caro has been part of our CO school programs in the past. That's how we met. And here we are. So we're at the studio today and we love systems. Time obviously is so precious, number one currency. And the way that we have our podcast scheduled is it's once, we have one to two recording days per month. And then we bash through the episodes. We vet candidates. We get hundreds of applications. Hundreds, easily. Of applications in for the show. Yeah. And, you know, we do, we have a process. So we make sure that they're vetted. We, if they have a publicist, we get all, we, you know, we're in this one, this one I'm going to tell you the story of right now came from a publicist. So sometimes we get pitches in from publicists and then we also get applications in through our application. And actually, if you're thinking about applying to be on the show, Carly and I can tell you here shortly on how to do that. But uh, we had a interview slot booked and she was a no-show. And not only was she a no-show, she, uh, Carlina, I'd like for you to tell the story because right now she canceled, but Carolina just went furious in in Spanish and she's my hot <laughs> Latino over here. And I was like, let's just use the show and let's talk about why no-shows suck and our podcast process. Absolutely. You know, and, and it's... Uh, it's so frustrating yeah, because tell me, I, okay, so our process very quickly, if you want to be on the CO School podcast, I will tell you how to do that. You want to email hello at the co and you will be sent a link for a form where you can fill out who you are, what you do, and why we should consider you consider you to be on the podcast. Now, here's the thing. If we go through all the trouble of booking you and vetting you and wanting to, we genuinely want to feature the most amazing women on this show, right? If you have gone through that process and you have been scheduled and booked, it's because we think you're amazing, right? Yeah. We want to honor your time. We want to respect your time. And we believe that that is a mutual agreement, right? That you also want to honor and respect our time. Now, Everybody needs to understand this. I know that Sunir is the face of CEO school, but she is also a billion dollar CEO <laughs> who's running a billion dollar company <laughs> down the road. And so her time here is even more precious. And so we had somebody booked, they didn't show. All time this is point, precious. Commitment right. is commitment. Yes, commitment is commitment. And so long story short, we had this person no show. And I mean, the whole thing, and no show. But she responded to you. Yes. yes. So she responded last night, last night to the confirmation saying, yep, yeah, thank you so much. We'll be there. Looking forward to it. Comes the day of the recording, comes the time of the recording, no email, no phone, no show, nothing. And we waited for over 20 minutes. At this point, I'm emailing. I'm trying to find a phone number, um, which we'll be adding a phone number. But um I email and I get a response an hour and a half after our record date time. And um, it basically says, I mean, not very apologetic, just very like, hey, oops, like a very oops, sorry, missed it. Um, let's reschedule. And I have a problem with this. And this is why. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is one of the reasons why I think we've lost the sense of urgency and responsibility, um, especially our generation. I think the younger millennials, the gen, older Gen Z uh, generation. Um, you could say this this uh, this potential guest was a Gen Zer. Yes, Gen Zer, and um, so mid twenties, and I I just. I call it, I, Sunir and I laugh about this, but I call it the Instagram millennial therapy people, like where it's like, I'm triggered. I won't show up. Oh, my space. Like, do you have any idea the hundreds of women that apply to be on this podcast? And you just like, oops, oops, email an hour later, unacceptable. So, you know, I think there's something about seizing the opportunity in its lifetime. Hey, friend, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get you another slot to be on this podcast. And you just missed a potentially huge opportunity that had a lifetime span of 30 minutes and you missed it because you did not look at your calendar, because you did not prioritize You did not prioritize this. That sends the message to me that this was not important. And so... I That's love my it. soapbox. No, I'm getting off of it now. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> Actually, so she's, she's sitting in front of me and uh, she's yelling in Spanish and <laughs> she's keeps saying like Gen Z. And I'm like, yeah, let's let's like it's true. And it's not about Gen Z at all. I've, I know plenty of Gen Zs yes. that work in my company that have it's their responsibility. It's the it's the ownership. It's the saying yes. Uh, and then when Carl was like, she got a message last night mm-hmm. confirming. And so it is important. And I do think that we have lost the sense of um it's not it's not even the urgency. I love like you said, like it's it's that that the moment in time may pass. Yeah. It's the it's the yes to the opportunity. Yeah. And so Caro's response back and she's like, I'm not bringing her back on the show final call. And I was like, you do you boo. <laughs> I completely support it. And I was like, you know what? We should just Use this time yeah. to to talk about it. And so what advice do you have? Because I think that our team, everyone that I work around has this like determination and this yes mentality. And a lot of the contractors sometimes that we work with, a lot of the freelancers, what, what do you think is going on in, in our generation and like what needs to change? I think a lot of people are having a hard time stewarding opportunity. And I think that the, this needs to become a priority. I think it's important for you to take that time. I know you've taught us to take the time to learn what is it that you want and what you know you want to put your hands to. And then once you decide that, be a good steward of that. Um, be responsible. Don't be entitled. Um, you know, make sure that you are showing up to the things you said you were going to show up to. And you know, I've made my mistakes. Plenty of time. I'm, I still make so many mistakes in this area, but I'm learning. And I and I think that that is a lesson that from personal experience, make sure that you are stewarding your opportunities well, because opportunities have a lifetime. And I think we forget that. Oh, drop the mic here, Carolina. I absolutely agree with you 100 percent. And something that I want to add that it's that um, it's 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 a different mentality. And I see it, I think that post pandemic with work from home and with just like so many side hustles available, I've seen that in every workforce mm-hmm. itself. Mm-hmm. And recently I actually read an article on the quiet quit. Have you heard of this like yes. notion of the I quiet quit? I actually just read about that, yes. Yeah, okay. So for those that haven't read about the quiet quit, it's when employees are like, quietly quitting, which means that they're barely working or they're putting in half the amount of work and know that they'll eventually get fired. But it's like the quiet quit. It's a whole trend on TikTok, by the way. This is like blowing up on TikTok. People making TikToks on quiet Quiet quitting. quitting, right? And we're promoting that, Mm -hmm. right? Like that is what we are promoting. We are celebrating not putting in effort And like doing half-ass jobs. Right. Like that's the world that we're in right now that we think that that's okay. Right. I have a problem with that. I don't, you know, I'm all about having balance and work-life integration and creating Mm -hmm. joy and working as a team and taking care of yourself and self-care and all of these things that are important Mm -hmm. doing and following your passions. And this is what we talk about every week on the show. But how in God's name are we celebrating Mm -hmm. being subpar? Right. And it's a counterfeit, right? Because what's going to happen is that's not going to produce results. And at the end of the day, these companies that they are 
quiet quitting from, eventually it's going to hurt the bottom line and it's going to end up hurting them. Yeah. They're the ones that are not going to have the opportunity. that This opportunity they have right now to grow in their positions, to learn, to do the job, to, to learn the ins and outs, to then later lead, whether that's in that company or in their own thing, they're missing it and they're throwing it away and they're not stewarding that well. I, you're so right. And I, and I see it every day and it's so unfortunate and it does, it makes it scary. Like it Mm -hmm. definitely makes it scary. And so if you are, uh, you know, a, a, you know, a, a younger millennial, a Gen Z, and you're not happy in what you're doing, it's okay to not be happy. Go make a change, right? Right. Find the next company, you know, have that direct conversation with your boss, but you owe yourself like more dignity than just half assing your way through life. It's not going to get you anywhere. And I was really excited about this interview and, you know, featuring uh, this founder and, you know, and it wasn't, we probably, we should for sure would have been like, hey, for sure reschedule. Absolutely. If there was just a little bit more of a, you know, a way to talk to our producer, like a way to just be like, hey, I apologize. I know I confirmed last night. Mm -hmm. Even if you just make it up, girl, like we don't need to know that, you know, that you just oops, missed it. Mm -hmm. Um, You're not going to get an opportunity. And so it's so important for us to make sure that our actions, like our values are also aligned with our actions because you get one impression right. and you want to be leaving a really, really good impression. It's not about today and it's not about what you're going to get. That energy also flows back to you. We believe so much in the law of attraction. Yeah. What you put out is what you're going to get. And you're pretty much telling the universe that you just don't care. And guess what's going to happen? The universe isn't going to care right back. Exactly. Well, Just like I don't. <laughs> well, Carolina, I appreciate you um, coming in and sharing your thoughts. And I just like literally pulled you in from the couch. I'm like, let's literally. talk about it. But that's the fun of CEO school and just now officially being in studio. You can catch us actually on YouTube as well. Yes. Do you want to actually segue into a little bit about Hi Hello and sharing this opportunity about your business and how people can reach you and what you do? Yeah, absolutely. So we are Hi Hello Labs. We are a full uh, service content creation studio in Orlando, Florida. Run by a woman. (laughs) Yes, it is amazing. We actually have um, about 90% of our contractors are women. So we have women producers, women editors, women photographers, all the things. It's actually really awesome. Um, And yeah, we can go to HiHelloLabs.com and learn more about what we do. But we do focus on podcasting and e-course production and that is really um, our main our main thing here, our main jam. And they're amazing. And let's go blow up Carlina's DMs and tell her this episode was fucking fire <laughs> and that we agree and we're going to seize the opportunity. And in we're its not, lifetime. Yeah, in its lifetime. And we're not bringing that guest back. So That's she lost it. her spot. Boom. Bye. We'll see you next week at CEO School. CEO School. Thank you for tuning into today's show. If you loved it, leave us a review. We are so proud to bring you authentic conversations, game changer expert guests, and valuable content on and offline. The best compliment you can give us is by screenshotting today's show and tagging us on Instagram at CEO School and at Sanira Madani. We are obsessed with swag, so don't be surprised if we want to send you some. Thanks for tuning into class today. And remember, nothing bad happens when women make more money.